Hello everyone. So today we're going to make the famous best lentil soup you're going to taste. Uh, we're going to go through each steps of them. I'll have everything linked below, everything I used linked in the description, as well as curated on my Amazon storefront and the recipe in the description box too. Let's go through the steps all together and make some delicious lentil soup tonight. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our red split lentils and grab about a cup and a half because I usually uh, during Ramadan make for about a week. So I make a large pot and it's just the two of us. So uh, it'll last us for a week. Now, if I have people coming over for a dinner or anything like that, of course, it's not going to last as long. You need a pan and a pot here, a large pot that I have right here. Then we need our other ingredients. I do need a strainer over here. I need some uh, dried parsley, some Vegeta salt. We need some shredded carrots, a cup, of course, and your chopper to make chopping easier. So I do use the shredded carrots because it's easier to do that. But what you can also do is get the full carrots and chop them up in your uh, chopper over here. So I just chop them up. I, they don't have to be finely chopped for anything because I'm also going to blend them after I cook them the soup and everything together so just chop them up roughly here put them aside in the pan chop up your onion grab your chopper over here to make it easier and just go ahead and chopper i do have the one from full star i have the cute crocodile one that's just more fun to work with i do have both and they're both awesome they're pretty sturdy when you're working with them so we're going to chop up the onions and then we're going to add them to the pan over here along with the spices that i use i love to use some vegeta in there or vegeta whatever it's called some cumin here ground cumin you got some salt some dried parsley and some avocado oil you're going to add them all together and put this pan aside while you prepare your lentils and start cooking them before we cook the lentils first thing we're gonna do is wash them I soak them a little bit in water and then I put them in the strainer and go ahead and wash them through the more you wash them the less of that white is gonna come out the little cleaner they're gonna be and they're just gonna be easier to cook that way so just go ahead and add them to your pan and get your water ready put some salt and a little bit of cumin before you actually add your water I usually boil the water in my tea kettle here um it takes about two pots of the tea kettle so about three liters in there to actually cook up now there's a little foam that's going to come up top do scrape that off onto the side once all that's cleaned off once it starts boiling it's going to go away um so once that's cleaned off it's going you're going to leave it to boil it's going to boil up you're going to saute that mixture that we made together just go ahead and saute until it looks cooked to you and once you saute it and it's all nice and cooked and looking delicious mm -hmm. and your lentils have uh boiled up for about 10 minutes go ahead and add the mixture once they boil about 10 minutes you're gonna find them that they're starting to mix they're starting to look better in there so put the mixture in there and leave it in there to boil some more and it's gonna look delicious while it's doing that but while it's boiling in there and you leave it until it looks cooked you are then going to grab your blender the one the hand blender that you can put right in the pot over here just add it right in there and blend everything together now i did mute this part for you guys so that you don't not listening to a loud blender in there uh, but blend everything in there you're gonna see that it's gonna come together it's gonna mix the the carrots the onions everything is gonna mix right in there and look absolutely delicious we do our like our soup a little watery in here so that it's a lot soupier that's the way my husband likes it that's the, that's the way we make it if you want it a little bit firmer all you need to do is reduce the amount of water you put in there or you can leave it on the stove longer now this soup does do great for freezing so if you're gonna reheat it it is gonna get firmer than the first time i like to add a little croutons and some lemon in it just to make it absolutely delicious and give it some flavor you could also make with it some of those bread uh, the fried bread that you can just get grab some pita and fry some bread i'll have another video linked how to do that one and it's going to come out delicious whatever way you like it absolutely love the soup absolutely delicious enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to the channel 